Hello and thanks for stopping by for the video. This week we are opening the 2023 February Dungeon Crate. Now if you remember last month's Dungeon Crate was so-so um, and we're gonna now see if they kicked it up a notch with the February Crate and see what's inside. So let's get started. Um, the first thing I noticed when I picked this up is it feels like there's stuff inside. If you remember the last one I made a comment that uh, I felt it was light. It just felt like papers inside. This one's got a little bit more heft to it. I don't know if that's going to be good or bad. Um, something else I just noticed is that normally there's like a circular sticker that covers it. This just looks like a piece of packing tape covering it. I don't know why, but I don't know if you can see that or not, but it just looks like packing tape. So let's uh, open this up and see what we've got. All right. So we've got the card and, well, you can't miss that. It says socks, but, um, okay. That's a normal, normal little uh, grid they give you. And, oh, this is kind of cool. This is like a die cut or a uh, laser cut range finder, I'm guessing, 10, 20, 30, or like a movement. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. And then we've got some Dungeons and Dragons socks. Okay. Yeah, these are nice. These are nice. You can see the picture on them. This picture looks the same on both of them. Kind of looks like uh, maybe a halfling or someone shooting a bow. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, let's keep going. Um, we've got our mini. Oh, this is Omaha3dprinted.com. Okay, this is different. Normally, I think every other dungeon box, I've gotten a Reaper mini. Now, this is the first time that I'm seeing a... I'm trying to open it, but I want to see the quality of this. Okay, nice mini. I like it. It's got good quality. You can see the wood grain on the shield. It um, looks like you can see some of the print lines on it. It's not resin printed, I don't think. So, um, but yeah, I think it's a nice overall. It's a nice mini, and it's a, a it's because it's not the Reaper bones. It's not that soft plastic. It's a hard plastic, which I like better. So that's yeah, that's a nice mini. Uh, this is kind of sticky. I don't know what this is. Uh, this seems like there's something, is it lit? Okay, I don't really know what this is. There's something in the middle of the D6. It's soft and it looks like there's a push button here or something. But I don't get it. All right. Let me go, I guess let's go to the card and see what it says this is. I'm not really sure. It looks like there's, I don't know. I really don't know. Let's see. This is flashing D6. Light up rubbery D6 puts a little bounce in your... Uh, roll and lights up the night. Okay. So you just roll it and it lights up? All right, that's, uh, that's pretty neat. Okay. You can see it lights up. You have to roll it, I guess. I, the pushing wasn't doing anything. And then it stops, eventually stops. Uh, the, the D6s could be a little bit better. Oh, that's just a mold line. I see. That's just a mold line. That's all that is. Okay. And it does work. Nice. All right. It's definitely different. This box so far, I'm going to say, is very different from all the other dungeon boxes I've gotten, all the dungeon crates I've gotten. Um, some really interesting things. Let's keep going here. Uh, we've got some stickers. All right. Little dragon stickers. And then we've got our cards. They always give us our cards, usually with a couple items and mimic cake. <laughs> Alrighty. Yep, it's a cake mimic. All right, stats for a cake mimic. That's funny. And a hat of holding. Those are both useful, I think. One, I think they both have some use. Let's see what else we got. Okay, and these are going to be like, uh, I see the birthday bash. And then these are going to be the module or the encounter for 
the equipment cards that you got. Difficulty hard, stealing the sword. Okay, yeah, usual. And then we've got another monster card and then another equipment card, probably two for each adventure, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay, and then we've got a pencil. Uh, I don't know, it says something on the pencil. Dungeon Crate Pencil. Let's see if you can see that. It's got some... Okay, and that's going to do it. So, as always, the question is, do we get our value? Did we get our value from the money we spent here? Hmm, this is a tough call for me. Um, let's go through it again real quick. Socks, I, I don't know how much a pair of specialty socks cost. They are um, thin, but they, they seem like a nice quality. Um, they don't seem like they're really cheap. So it, it, a nice pair of socks, a laser cut kind of movement tracker, I guess, 10, 20, 30, or range tracker. That's kind of neat too. I don't know. I mean, laser cut, I don't know how much that would cost. No idea. Some stickers, a pencil, our D6 that is lit up, and then all our cards. Um, it seems like there's more cards. This, oh, and a, and a mini too. Let me not forget the mini. So we've got a mini. And then we've got four equipment, well, two equipment cards, two monster cards, two monster cards, two adventures, and then you have the, um, the insert telling you what's in there with the grid on the back. Hmm. I'm not sure on this one, guys. What do you think? $35? $30? Maybe, yeah. Um, I think it's closer than the last one, but I'm not sure if we got our full value. I'm going to need you guys to let me know on this one. Um, yeah, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think, if this is uh, uh, the value for what we spent on it, or if you think, once again, this is a fail. I, I'm really not sure. I, I don't know how to... Um, I'm going to, if I had to guess and say, no, it's not a $35 value, but it's really close. Um, I, I don't know how much socks cost, $15 for specialty socks. This is, I mean, it's got an LED inside and it flashes, I don't know, $10. I don't know. So it's, it's close. If it is, it's close. Uh, let me know what you think. If it's a yes or no, uh, leave a thumbs up if you like the video. I really appreciate it. Go ahead and subscribe as well if you haven't. And head over to my coffee shop and see what's in there. There's some really cool stuff. I'll leave a link below. But thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you on the next one.